Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm gonna be trying the L'Oreal Cess Magic CC Cream. I've had this for a while now and I haven't tried it yet. And I've seen this, like, this is definitely not a new product, but I've heard so many good things about it and so many bad things about it as well. So I wanted to try it for myself and this CC cream is supposed to be anti-redness uh, and that's one of the main reasons why I bought this because I do have some redness on my face so I do want to see if this CC cream is going to help with that um, I do have sensitive skin so hopefully this is not going to irritate my skin and also this is supposed to be like moisturizing and yeah let's just see because uh, sometimes CC cream do not really work for me uh, especially the this type of brands like L'Oreal, Garnier, all of those, uh, they don't go with my skin tone. So most of them tend to be too orange for me. But let's see, because this is supposed to be green and let's just see if it works or not for me. I'm only wearing moisturizer and sunscreen on my face, so I'm not, I don't have anything more than that. So let's just see how this works. Um, without any other product. Of course, I do have some like lipstick on, otherwise I'm gonna look like I'm dead. I'm not pushing the product, but it's coming out. I don't know if it's because I've had this for a while and I haven't tried it yet, but yeah, the product, the product came out on its own. And it is green. So this is supposed to blend with your skin tone and change, so it's not going to stay green. But the green factor is that it's going to be anti-redness. <sighs> okay. So let's try this. I have my mirror here, so I'm going to do this side first so that you can see it. Uh, okay, I'm going to apply it with my fingers and I don't know if this is too much, but... Ooh. Probably it's too much. Let's just see how it goes. Okay, this looks a bit like very white. I'm really gonna work this out. Okay, so I don't see any any product like green product left and I think it blended very well I don't know if you can see like the difference this side I do have the CC cream and this side doesn't So I'm gonna try to do a close up so that you can see. Okay, so so far uh, I don't see any dry patches or anything like that. It does feel. And it has a weird. I mean, it doesn't feel sticky. It does feel moisturizing. But yeah, I'm just gonna let that settle and I'm gonna apply the rest of my my face. But a little goes a long way. So I'm gonna do this part of my nose. And it does blend with my skin tone very well. Okay, so this is the difference. I don't know if you can tell. Without, I do have some redness here, this part, that I also have here. So I'm gonna put this on this side as well and just see. 
so far it has worked for the redness that I had on this part of my face that I usually have here so let's just see I don't know if you can build this up probably you can but it might look too white so I'm gonna go with this side now I'm not a fan of the scent like I'm not a fan of scented um, makeup or, or skincare But I am lucky though, because not every scented makeup or skincare irritates my skin. And I know that's like one of the main things with sensitive skin. So let's just see if this is gonna irritate my skin. Uh, hopefully it won't. Yep, but since uh, but scented skincare and makeup tend to irritate your skin, especially when you have a uh, very sensitive skin. Um, I'm not on that side of the sensitive skin, like my skin is not that sensitive, uh, <clears throat> but it is. And that was after I over exfoliated my skin once uh, when I was in my 20s. And yeah, I used like a liquid um, exfoliator and I over exfoliated and I got this huge like burns here. And after that, my skin got very sensitive, and every product that I like tried, it caused some type of irritation. Uh, now my skin is a lot better, but yes, I, my skin didn't used to be sensitive at all, and I could apply any product on my face, and I wouldn't have any irritation. But after I over exfoliated it, uh, yeah, my skin change completely so now I'm very very careful with what I put on my face <clears throat> but going back to the <laughs> CC cream this is the result so so the redness that I had here is a bit less visible here as well you can see it uh, it doesn't feel like it accentuates my dry spots but that might change throughout the day but this is how it looks right now I'm gonna try and see if I can build this up a bit more because now it's just one layer and it's very natural I would wear it like this I wouldn't add any more but I do want to see if I can build this up and if it's gonna look more white or it's gonna look good so let's just see one more time uh, if I can build this I'm gonna <laughs> I hope hopefully it's not gonna look cakey because right now I do like it it's like a bit not sticky but yeah on these parts but probably that's gonna go that's probably gonna disappear uh, throughout the day as well and I do feel like with more product it's gonna accentuate my dry spots definitely it's gonna make this part look drier than it, it is so well let's just try and see so I'm gonna apply it just a bit more I feel like these type of products are meant to use like with your fingers rather than a sponge so that the heat of your fingers are going to help blending the the CC cream <laughs> I just remember like those um challenges of putting like a hundred layers of something on your face I 
video. I don't know if it, you would be able to notice it here, but I feel like with the second layer it looks a bit more orange. <laughs> that I'm looking myself like in the mirror and I can see that this side looks a bit darker than this side and here I don't know if you will be able to see but it's not looking good here on this part here let me close the shades a bit so that you can see so that's how my skin looks right now with the second layer I feel like this part like it's accentuated that uh, texture that I have there and this is with one layer I don't know I, I definitely if I would wear this I would only wear it with one layer instead of two I like this side more than this side. Overall, I think it does what it says, like it is uh, anti-redness, because uh, the redness that I had here is a bit gone, I mean, depending on how much you apply. The thing is that if you apply too much, it's not gonna be good. I can see that with the second layer, it completely, like, I can't see any redness with a second layer, but it doesn't look as good as with one layer. So, <laughs> that's it dilemma what to do like do I, do I apply a second layer and even though if it doesn't look good but it eliminates the redness or do I just leave it with one layer and have the redness show just a bit that's a good question I'm just gonna leave it like that so I'm gonna leave this side with one layer this side with two and I'm gonna see at the end of the day what happens <laughs> uh, or at the end of the afternoon probably because it's already like three o'clock here but i don't go to bed until like 4 a.m so <laughs> so even if i'm not gonna be wearing it for like a whole normal day i'm still gonna be wearing it for a lot of hours so let's just see how it goes i'm not gonna be trying this for a whole week because um, i don't know should i i don't think so but for the moment I can say that it does help with redness, maybe not that much, of course. I mean, if you have more redness than I do, you're gonna have to apply a bit more. But applying more might not look good. Uh, so, yeah. But uh, it does help with redness. Uh, but let's just see if it irritates my skin or not. And if it makes my skin look drier than it already is. I do apply moisturizer underneath. But, yeah, sometimes my skin is not like that moisturized so i have to say that today my skin was a bit drier than normal and it's spring here already well not yet but like three days left for spring let's see um but yeah those are the effects because i don't drink water like at all <laughs> i should put it out uh i'm trying though but still i'm gonna go and i'm gonna come back at the end of the day and I'm going to show you how this CC cream did. But yeah, let's just see how this works. And at the end of the day, I'm going to show you and I'm going to tell you what I think. So see you at the end of my day, at least. Okay, so here you're going to be able to see what I meant when I said that this side where I do have two layers looks a bit darker than the one that I have only one layer. And that's what I say. You can see the difference, like here. Like this is the problem that I have with CC creams or sometimes BB creams, like from um, drugstore brands, is that they tend to look orange on my on my skin or yellow. I don't know. But you can see that this side looks a bit darker than this side, and I'm showing you here, like on the the light like this is daylight natural light and you can see it's like very very like it's not very noticeable but if you do like a line here you can see it and you can see it here like so if i had to choose one side it would be this one with only one layer not with two 
although you can still see some redness here but I'd rather like my redness show than be looking like this <laughs> especially like once you can tell I did apply a bit of my neck as well so yeah that's just you can tell the difference this is my normal skin color <laughs> very pale and you can see my face there's a difference here uh anyway so <laughs> i'm just gonna keep uh trying this and yeah but for now i would say this side i prefer rather than this side so one layer it's better than two at least for me and at least for for now I don't know if I did this, you would be able to tell better, but yeah, I do prefer this side rather than this side. You can check my skin. So this is under natural light and under um, my iPhone, instead of like a camera. So this is how it looks. So let's just see how this goes and yeah this is how it's looking at the moment okay so it's already 2 30 a.m here uh, so i've been wearing this cc cream for 11 hours now and this is how it looks so this is a side with two layers and this is the one with one It is getting a bit oily here and here, although it doesn't feel oily at all, it looks shiny, but it doesn't feel oily. So I've just finished cleaning my room. I'm usually like a nice person, so and that's why I'm still awake and I'm gonna do some stuff on my computer and then I'm gonna go to bed. So I still have a few more hours to go, at least two more hours. And yeah, so far I think it's not that bad, uh, except for the difference in shades. Like with this type of light, you can't really tell that there's a difference, uh, but with natural light, you can definitely tell that there's a difference between uh, this shade like the CC cream shade and my neck so <laughs> yeah I think um so I don't think that I'm gonna be wearing this CC cream uh besides like today that I'm trying it because I'm not a fan of having two different shades on my face like so if you were for this shade that is not really a match uh probably i would wear this again but since it doesn't match my skin tone then i'm definitely not gonna be wearing this again uh for how it looks it doesn't look that bad but uh it doesn't look that good either at some point it did irritate my skin a bit like here uh but then like it only lasted for a like five to ten minutes and then disappear um but yeah and i do think that two layers don't look that bad uh, but if i would wear this again it would be with just one but that's like a personal preference so so yeah i mean it's not something that i would actually buy again in my case I'm not gonna be able to wear this uh, because of the shade and yeah and I also think that's like one of the bad things about this product is that it doesn't have a very good shade range like if it doesn't match my skin tone then it's just like probably like skin tone that is a bit darker than, than mine and that's it so yeah that's not like 
for today. It's not a very good variety of uh, shapes. So, so yeah, I wouldn't really wear this any other day. It's not like a must have, definitely not. There are better uh, baby greens or sissy greens. I, I, I don't really like sissy greens, that's the thing. I think they're not the like best product out there. I think there are better things for your face, another foundations and or BB creams even. So for me like CC creams are one product that I think is kind of useless <laughs> or like it's like if we have BB creams why do we need a CC cream? Like what? Like it doesn't make like I don't think it's necessary. So yeah. So at least I wouldn't buy this again. But I let you decide for yourself. But this is how it looks after 11 hours and on a person that has sensitive skin and dry skin. So yeah, I can also see that he is a bit irritated as well. So for me, this product doesn't work. Uh, so, yeah. So that was it for today's video. I hope you have a great week and see you on my next video.